Hi everyone it's Sue and welcome to my channel today thank you very much for being here I'm going to do an unboxing and this was an order that I made with scrapbooking in craft and for those who have been watching my recent videos you will have seen that I am part of the design team for scrapbooking in craft this year um, so there will be a few more little projects coming along so keep your eye out for those um, what I have here is an order that I actually made because um, I felt I needed more things. That's how I'm justifying it anyway. I actually don't need any more things. But, you know, when you look at the websites and you think, oh, I really would love that. So, well, I did. I bought some things. So, now I've, I've opened it, obviously. I've cut out, cut all the sticky tape. All right, so let's have a look what we've got. Um, okay, so I've got some of these. I ordered some of these uh, foam stamps. I actually really like using these. Um, and I found when I did a recent video, they really hold the ink really well when you're stamping. I normally use them for paint, but um, I found they really held the ink really well. So I thought, yeah, I need some more of those. And at the moment, I'm really into the doily sort of a look. I'm not sure why, but I am. So that's, uh, oops, sorry, that's this one. This one is, does it have a name? I think it might be off the top of my head, Grandma's Doily, maybe. But you'll be able to find them if you go to the website, the Scrapbooking and Craft website, which is there, and I will link it below. You can, um, if you just type in, or go to, I think it was foam stamps, you'll you'll find them. They're not too hard to find. Okay, so that's one. Now this one I actually got two because I'm going to give a uh, gift one to um, a friend of mine who does a lot of mixed media stuff. So I just want to have a look at this one because, yeah, it comes in parts. So I guess you could use it as that. And to do that, I, I'd probably put a bit of tape across, washi to hold it. But three stamps in one. I really liked that idea and I do like circles um, I think circles are so versatile when you're doing anything um, just normal you know even your normal stamping and things it's just circles are really good so I thought I'll get one for myself and one for my friend who actually does some really awesome mixed media stuff um, I'm actually hoping to convince her to make a video for me. She doesn't have a channel. Um, she does do some Instagram stuff. Um, and I'm, I haven't asked her yet, so I can't link her, her, her name and stuff. But I am hoping I'll convince her to um, do a video for me to put on showing how she does faces. Does an amazing job. Okay, now I might leave that one to last because it says thank you on it. Now, uh, let's do the stamps first. Okay, so there's another one. That's a, just a butterfly. Can't have enough butterflies. And a botanical sort of a leaf one, which I always find useful. Uh, and this, this one I actually got for someone as well because they liked it. Uh, now, this one, I it's, it's, it's not chipboard. Um, I can't remember what it was actually called, but I was quite intrigued to use this one. And I do believe it came in another size as well. And this one here, which not sure how I'm going to use it yet, but I kind of liked it, so I thought I'd get it. Now, if I think it's, let me see how big it is. It's actually quite large. Across, it will be about nine inches across, or what's that, 22 and a half centimeters. So probably, yeah, roughly that either way. So um, great for, obviously, a scrapbook page if you do scrapbooking. Um, I don't do a lot of scrapbooking, but I'm thinking in one of my journals, I'm sure that will fit. So looking forward to using that. Uh, now I'm running out of space here. All right, now this packet here was just some book pages. 
except that they were in different languages. Um, and I don't always have different languages. And when I'm doing my collages, I really, quite often the prompt is a different language other than your own. So I thought, you know what, if I get these, <laughs> I'm set for quite some time. Uh, now I can't read any of these languages looking like maybe German or something like that. This one's uh, like a dictionary. It's got the English word and then the other, um, the translated word. Uh, so there's a few of those. That one goes with that one. And that one goes with that one. And we have this one here. So I think I might have to go down a little bit. I think I'm too zoomed up. There we go. That's probably better. Okay. So possibly German again. This one I don't think is German. Oh, it says Italia, so I'm thinking maybe Italian. I have been searching for books in other languages, but there just isn't any in the op shops around near me. And this one as well, which also has some little illustrations that might come in handy too, actually. So, yeah, really happy about those. So, um, Melinda has those um, in the store as well. So if you're like me and struggle to get the different languages and you do the collaging, great idea. All right, let me just get rid of these. And let's have a look what we got here. All right, it says thank you and a little sticker. All righty. Ooh. Okay, so we've got some more chipboard bits. Um, another little, like a little windowy thing. And it's like a frame with a sort of a steampunky thing on there. Awesome. And we have an advertisement or a brochure thingy. Hmm. hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I was just looking at what else I didn't get. Okay, and we've got, oh, let's get my receipt away. And just a couple of napkins, which are great for using in backgrounds and things. So that was my order from Scrapbooking and Craft. And while um, I'm talking Scrapbooking and Craft, Melinda has sent the next design team um, um, chipboard, this one. I'm not sure if I should show you or not, actually. Hmm. All right, I'm going to give you a peek, but don't tell her I showed you. So this is what it is. So I've got to come up with something for that for my next project. I have, I think I have something in mind. Um, depends on whether I can pull it off or not. That's the thing about design team projects I've found. It really does challenge you because you're given something that you haven't picked so that you, you really have to have a think about how you would use it. Um, so yeah, looking, looking forward to trying that one. So that was my order from Scrapbooking and Craft. Um, please have a look at the website. Uh, I know that postage from Australia is quite expensive. So your best, if you are going to order outside of Australia, order a few. And I know that Melinda will um, calculate the postage and she will pay back, particularly if you have a PayPal account, she will put back the extra um, postage amount that you've paid. Um, I know that happened to me uh, earlier or oh, maybe a year or so ago. Um, she, she gave back the extra because I ordered more than one item. And when you're doing websites and things, it's really difficult to uh, put the postage because the postage sort of goes on to all of the things. But anyway, um, even if you if you're in doubt, contact her and I'm sure she'll she'll work something out for you. All right, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.